it's uh, lunchtime and you can see it's pretty cold. This rain but hasn't thawed out in about three days but it's dry. That's the view out there, slightly more open. It's a little bit tidier now. Nearly finished it. <coughs> I've cleared up the debris from pruning the vines and one of the next jobs is pruning the wisteria. As you can see, the sun's out. I thought that was going to be 12 o'clock, but it's half past. <coughs> As you can see, the ice and the frost hasn't melted in the shade. And it is still pretty cold. to be burnt. There's my resting vegetable patch and uh, the field now has no trees left. There were three apple trees when we bought the place and the last one was fell down a couple of years ago and I've chopped it all up now so it's completely clear. Here are my two little companions just for a couple of weeks. Let's keep me company. Both the boys. I don't know how old they are. Six months, something like that. It's cold today. Even colder than it's been the last few days. So much so my water's frozen. I've got no cold water in the granary. The water pipe runs underground across the courtyard and this coldness has seeped right into the ground but it's very very cold it will make to crack it a bit but it's uh, that's all they're rock, absolutely rock solid. I don't know how deep the ice is there, but it's cold. Possibly the coldest I think I've ever known it here. And a completely clear blue sky. So it will warm up a little bit. I don't know if it's going to warm up enough to uh, thaw the pipe out because it's in the shade where it is. The same as yesterday, only more so. Sunday morning, a fraction warmer, but not much, I don't think. Just saw a fox quite boldly walk across the field. Of course, the time I got the camera, he's gone. I'm uh, 
nearly in Coutons, just the east of it, and I'm going to go, I'm hoping that's the Voie Verte. Sounds artificially spring-like because the cows are being fed in there and there must be lots of birds attracted to the hay or whatever it is. Not the most picturesque of uh, picnic stops but <clears throat> a nice warm bench on a wall. That's, it wasn't too cold at all. By way of demonstration of how cold it's been. See there's still ice on the edges. I can't say the route is incredibly picturesque. Trees come down just now, but it's fairly straight, obviously enough, flat, obviously enough, but not a lot of views. Let's say on a Sunday lunch room just after. No idea what that would have been. Seminary for monks or something. It's attached to the abbey. Very neatly kept. By coincidence, I found myself at roughly the same place I was a couple of weeks ago, <coughs> Saint Germain sur -Ay. Someone collecting seaweed. This is Saint-Germain-des-Surey with its what looks like a fortified church. Certainly has brought me down here but it doesn't say how far down this track so we'll give it a go and hope my tyres are okay on it. Not sure that was the best of ideas. A little bit late to go back now. My van was a sight for sore eyes. 73 kilometres. I set out to do 60, so not bad. Something you don't very often see. Frost by the beach. I'm at uh, well, my Lyon sur Mer. There's frost on the beach as well.
the tide is quite a long way out. No idea how far out it was in 1944, but this is where 41 Commando landed, it said on the memorial. Pretty certain these houses are the ones that fear, fear in some of the films footage. It's quite a big beach, as big as Omar. It's actually quite warm in the sunshine. Maybe that one survived. I'm sure a lot of them didn't. I shot the grill over so it was a bit neater nowadays. 